Hello all, so this is Muhammad Hanif. Once again, welcomes you to this lab session on the subject of digital signal processing. Today, uh, we will be uh, generating a musical tone and in last session, we have successfully able to generate the sine wave using the same sine wave here with the different frequencies, we try to generate one tone, okay. So, and along with generation of tone, uh, today we will try to write a program, uh, write a program for using function. So, writing a function in main program and calling that function program uh, in uh, whenever we need in the main program, okay. So, let's start. So, starting with the same keywords, CLC, clear all and close all and then as uh, we have seen in the last session also we need one sampling frequency so here the sampling frequency and in last session we directly mentioned that and here we try to uh, take user inputs so for that one the keyword is, is used as input and here we have tried that enter the sampling frequency okay and then we'll take ts as 1 upon fs this will be our step size right and here this will be sampling frequency okay so before uh, proceeding to the main program first we'll define a function so function basically we know that is a small program which is written in uh, somewhere and whenever we do call the same program multiple times in the main program then we can call with that function name the same thing here we can uh, define a function so function can be defined in matlab as uh, starting with the keyword function and then we have to define the output variables so number of variable output variables we are going to use in this function program so we have to define them in this square bracket so here we are going to use two variables namely x and t so x is for uh, output variable both as both the output variables only but t is for time and x is for uh, sine wave okay now we have to give one function a uh, name so that will be so as we are trying to generate one uh, sine wave here so i am going to give the file name as gen sine and then we have to declare in a parenthesis we have to declare the input variables so input variable input variables are going to be used for generation of sine wave will be one frequency amplitude and then duration and then we need a phase and then one step size so here f stands for frequency a capital a stands for amplitude d is for duration p is for phase and s is for step size so this is uh, initializing a function okay now first defining the t here so t will be starts at 0 and it goes with s and we have seen the uh, colon operator in the last session so here t will start at 0 with the step size of s and it goes up to the value of d okay and then defining x here x will be a sine of 2 into pi into f into plus phase okay. this will be our program for x so that's it so to end the function we have to write the keyword the end so this is the program for function now we're coming back to the main program so as we are if we are going to generate one tune so we must be familiar with either music or uh, musical background or we must know the frequencies are used to define any 
tune okay i have browsed a, a small drive a birthday tune happy birthday tune from the internet and if we know that frequencies we can define those frequencies in a sequence and then we must know the what is the duration to be displayed to be played for that particular frequency okay so here i have copied them uh, so giving the variable node for those uh, frequencies so like it is 262 262 294 262 349 330 262 262 294 262 this information from internet okay and then we must know the length of this note so for that one I am defining one uh, duration the du uh, or duration it must be a length so length will be l is equals to length of what note so this will be calculating length of node variable okay and then so each these are the different frequencies so this is the one frequency to be displayed for one particular duration then after this frequency for one particular duration so we have to know those durations also so, so these duration information also i have uh, taken from internet so those are like 0.5 seconds, 0.5 seconds, 1, 1, 1, 2, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 1, 1, 1, 2, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 1, 1, 1, 1, 3, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 1, 1, 1, and 2. Okay. These are tones or duration to be played for frequency okay that's it and then we have to define one output variable say a rhyme a rhyme is equal to so as it is blank one so i am creating a blank uh, vector here and then we have to write a program for using for loop so using for loop in the matlab is starts with for keyword and then we have to uh, give a uh, variable one a variable so say i so it must be initiated with the value one okay or any other value so normally here the index it follows uh, in positive so i am starting with the one okay so and then so till how, how what will be the uh, duration it has to go that will be this note okay length of this note so that is we have defined as l so i am writing l here okay and then now we have to call this our function so that function is given as output variables like this so we will be writing same here so i am taking y as a one output variable okay so y comma t and is equals to so what is our function name it is gen underscore sign we have to call same as this and then here you, have, you can see that it is asking for first frequency and the frequency is stored in this variable called node but 
we have to first go with this first frequency. So we'll write note of i. So as i progresses, starts from one and it progresses towards the length uh, length l. So those values will be replaced with this i value. So first it will be takes as when i is equals to one. So note of i that is two sixty two frequency will be played. Okay, and next what we have given amplitude a. So here by default I'm um, I'm giving as one. I'm taking one, and then duration. The duration I have stored in here. So I have to write duration of i. Okay, and then phase. Let's go with the zero phase difference, and then a step size. So a step size will be our Ts. So already we calculated that. So we'll write here Ts. Okay, and then so now when it is completed towards i, it will be stored in output y. And but our main output is rhyme. So we'll take down output into this one. In rhyme, comma, y. That's it. Okay. And then to end the for loop, we have to write the keyword end. Okay. So this is the program. Now we able to generate one tone in uh, this variable rhyme to this to play the music. We have to use the keyword sound sc in MATLAB, and it will be followed as so output is saved in a rhyme, and then with the sampling frequency we have to play it. Okay, that's it. So we'll check this whether it's working or not. Okay, so now to run the program, we have to click on this run button or F5. So, as we have given the user input, uh, user input device, user input uh, variable here. So it is asking for enter the sampling frequency. So as uh, the maximum frequency available in this note is a uh, 523. So we must give more than a uh, double of this, twice of this frequency. So instead of that, we'll go with as 4000. And now enter. this program clearly so we have written one program for function and then we have called the same function program in for loop and we have seen how we can initiate the for loop in MATLAB and we have seen how we can initiate the function in for loop uh, MATLAB and also we have generated one tone so basically this tone if we are familiar with the uh, musical background, we must know the frequencies of that particular tone and it will be very easy to write or generate any tone in MATLAB using uh, this kind of function. Okay. Thank you. See you next in another video. Thank you.